imagine if we could uh, all of a sudden decrease uh, progression of pre-diabetics to type 2 diabetes by 50% uh, in five years, by 70% in five years, or whatever number you want to think about. It is eminently doable and it would lead us not just to better health at the individual level, better outcomes at the public health level, but at the same time, uh, savings that will be, as I said, uh, reinvested in better health down the road and make our healthcare sustainable. Uh, having lived through the AIDS uh, pandemic uh, and having had the privilege uh, to contribute to uh, the development of an effective treatment and more recently a highly effective strategy to control the pandemic uh, uh, through treatment of prevention and the implementation of the United Nations 1999 target, uh, I, um, I can say that uh, it's no longer a luxury uh, to decide whether or not we're going to do this. Uh, this is an obligation. We have the moral uh, and the ethical imperative uh, to do this right so that we can end the worst pandemic that our uh, civilization has uh, uh, seen in recent times. Uh, equally important, I think that the lessons learned from the development of the 1990-90 strategy in HIV can be readily uh, uh, adapted uh, and adopted to fight a number of other conditions and from my perspective, we cannot afford to miss this opportunity. Our healthcare system is too precious uh, for us not to strengthen it uh, through the development of treatment prevention uh, strategies uh, and 1990-90-like uh, uh, strategies that can lead to the control of some of the high burden diseases that affect our population. And I, I honestly feel that uh, diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes, is a prime candidate uh, for this kind of approach.